And so today, I'm excited for today because it's another Halloween haul. And I'm actually in the process of editing part two of our home goods Halloween haul. I'm just about finished, but I went out on a quick Halloween hunt today and was not expecting to see the Halloween goods at Target, like a full line of Halloween at Target. So I'm bumping this one up. We're gonna do a full on Target Halloween haul today uh, because I wanna get this out sooner than later and Target is just now starting to get stuff out. So I wanted to get this out in case you wanted to see anything up close and personal, see if there's anything that you liked. Um, uh, there's obviously way more. I didn't buy the whole store, <laughs> but I'll at least show you what I got. And I'm going to show you some things I got online. By the way, everything I mentioned today will be linked down in the description box for you. So before I jab my jaws any longer, I'm going to show you some of the items I got from Target. I'm excited. Let's get into it. All right, let's start with the Target Halloween Threshold line. And if you're not familiar with Target or you don't have a Target in your area, so Threshold is Target's own uh, home decor line. I almost said a Halloween decor line. I wish it was all year round, but so they have their own home decor in the threshold line all year round. But around Halloween time, they get a Halloween threshold line and it's usually the mature kind of Halloween stuff. So it's not the super cutesy stuff. Regardless, I got this and I showed this when we were out Halloween decor hunting. We went on the hunt for this and we found it. It is this metal candelabra and it has roses where the candle holders are. It also has leaves and thorns. I have that gothic feel, but also could be considered witchy if you have a witchy theme. There's so much you could do with this. This is definitely an all year round dark aesthetic piece for me. Target Threshold came through, how much was this? It was $35 and it is really nice and kind of heavy, physically heavy, because it is metal and it's just beautiful. The detail is amazing. I love everything about it. Ugh, I love this. Wait, did I show you up close enough? Also got some dark plants. Saw this online and uh, I'm obsessed with these. Once again, for all year round dark aesthetic decor. Got this one. It's a potted plant is what it is. It's kind of a darker aesthetic almost kind of a witchier aesthetic to it. There's a little bit of moss in there. It's kind of got that dark green color and that deep wine color. I also got this one. This one has some pops of orange to it. So it's got black, a darker green and orange. And once again, I feel like this could be a witchy vibe or just an all year round dark aesthetic plant. I'm not gonna lie though, the color scheme on this one with the deep wine color, it's so beautiful. Speaking of floral, oh, by the way, those were 20 bucks a pop, I know. I thought it was a little steep. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Some of those fake plants can get expensive, but I thought they'd be bigger, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm also not mad at it because I can leave those out all year round. Speaking of Halloween floral, I got this wreath. I actually got two of these because I have an idea for them. You'll see it here coming up in some decorating videos. But it's just a spooky wreath with some black kind of leafy, branchy situations. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. And also, once again, this is an all year round wreath for me. I love a good dark wreath for all year round for my dark aesthetic in my home. So I'm all excited about all the threshold things. So next up, I got this metal spider tea light holder. And the thing I loved about this one was the shape. I feel like the legs on this one, they're really spindly and spooky. Once again, it's a metal piece, which I love the metal pieces. I wanted to get more than one, but this thing was 20 freaking dollars, let me tell ya. If you wanna know if it's worth $20, my honest answer, I wanna say no, it's really not worth $20, although it is a metal piece. I feel like at Ross, they have metal pieces too that are nowhere close to $20. He is pretty small. He just holds one single itty bitty tea light. But I love the look of this guy. I love the spindly legs. You get a lot of tarantula looking ones. You don't get a lot of really spooky spindly looking ones. So it's metal. I love the aesthetic of it. And this is one I'll keep up all year round. So I held on to it. But yeah, $20 for this little thing. I know if you're gasping, I agree, I agree. All right, back to the threshold line. I got some pillows. The first pillow, oh, sorry, if you hear cracking, it's because I have a life-size skeleton and it's just his bones cracking. Nothing to be alarmed about. <laughs> uh, so I got this pillow. I'm so excited about this pillow. Is this black and white 
floral, spider webby, snaky looking pillow. It has floral, also a subtle spider web, and a little snake in there, a little snake tail. And then it has little tassels on the corners of the pillow. And again, I just love this type of pillow for all year round. Also got this bat pillow. It's an embroidered bat pillow and it's got this velvet feel to it and just a bunch of embroidered bats all over it. Uh, I will say this about the, the pillow itself. On the website, it looked black. I believe it said it was black, but the velvet itself is kind of a very, 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 very dark brownish gray is the best way to describe it. It is not quite black. So I just wanted to put that out there in case you're interested in this pillow thinking you're gonna get it and it is just a pitch black velvet pillow. Almost looks like a dusty black pillow, like there's some dust on it or something. I wanted to put that out there, but it's a really, really nice pillow, nice quality, love the embroidery on it and the velvet feel. So love this, got this. We're gonna move on to the Hide and Eat Boutique, which is the rest of the Halloween line, in case you're not familiar with Target. I got this guy, I showed him in my Summerween bedroom decorating video. Just sit on my lap, sir. I got Mr. Skeleton a friend. I got this jack-o'-lantern head skeleton guy. I was so excited about him this year. I've been looking for a friend for good old Mr. Skeleton because, you know, Mr. Skeleton is the one in my eyes, like as far as when it comes to the classic skeleton look. So I knew I didn't want a skeleton that looked just like him because he's my one and only. So when I saw the jack-o'-lantern skeleton guy, I was like, this is perfect. Mr. Skeleton doesn't have to be jealous because they're two totally separate skeletons. And so, oh my God, the jack-o'-lantern head skeleton. I'm not sure yet what we're naming them. You know, some of you left some ideas over on the Summerween video. So we'll eventually name him. Okay, we got ourselves a new skeleton. Uh-oh. All right, next up, this is so up my alley. The second I saw it, I was like, I need this. I don't even care if it has glitter on it. I need it. Uh, it is this gigantic branchy tree. We found the branchy tree of all branchy trees at Target this year. And Target always has good branchy trees, but this is the branchy tree. It's huge. Uh, this is just a big old branchy tree in a pot. I can't even fit it in the frame. It's so big. It's not that big. It's not as tall as I am, but, but it's a really good size in comparison to some of the other uh, target branchy trees. It is a glittery branchy tree. So for those of you who are very offended by glitter, this one is not for you. There's glitter galore. I'm, I'm fine with black glitter. I'm not really big into the gold glitter they're trying to make happen or anything like that, but I'm fine with black glitter. So I was fine with this. I'm probably going to spray it because it is shedding a little bit, but I can get over the glitter part because the size of this is exactly what I was wanting and the quality is what I was wanting. I didn't want something that was too flimsy or whatever because I have an idea where I want to put this, but I need it to be sturdy. So I'm really excited about this. And then the pot at the bottom has a jack-o'-lantern on it, but then the other side has nothing. So if you're wanting to put this up all year round, which you know I will, uh, you can have the non-jack-o'-lantern side if you if you don't want the jack-o'-lantern. I like the jack-o'-lantern. I think he's kind of cute. So I finally found the mother of all branchy trees and I'm all excited. All right, next up I got this. This is so strange and unusual. Actually, was this on my Halloween decor wish list a couple years ago and I never got it? I don't know that I ever saw it. I don't know what happened, but I was so excited to see it this year because I've never been able to get my hands on this. It is this spooky fish bowl is what it is. I don't normally go for the super cutesy animatronics, but this was too strange and unusual to pass up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna turn off this light and I'm gonna show you. Okay, you gotta see this, you gotta see this. Ready? So some of you might be like, what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> And I hope you did say that because that makes my whole life, but it was a fish graveyard is what you watched. Also, I wanted to show you the base of it because the base of it kind of has more of a gothic feel to it. So I feel like it's not too far from my aesthetic. And next up, I want to talk about the ghoulish garden. They had some new ghoulish garden stuff this year and I'm all excited. Okay, 
I was so excited to add to my collection. The first Ghoulish Garden thing I got, I got the roses. The roses with the eyeballs and the red and black roses with red eyes in there. The green leaves around it. You can kind of maneuver the leaves around where you want them. They have some wire or something in there. And the pot of the plant is this light gray color, looks like stone, and has these little skulls and vines all around it. I might paint the pot black. I'm not sure yet. It depends on how it looks with the other stuff. I believe all my other ghoulish garden pieces, uh, I believe they all have black pots. So I might have to paint this black. I don't know. What are you guys doing? If you got the ghoulish garden this year, are you leaving it the stone color? Are you painting it black? What are you doing? Let me know in the comments. Or if you just have an opinion on it. If you're like, ghoul, paint it black or keep it gray, whatever you think, let me know in the comments. But I'm so excited to add this piece to my ghoulish garden. I love the black and red roses with the red eyeballs. They look so realistic. Then I saw this one. This is not even normally my aesthetic. Like the black and red roses, that was such an obvious choice for me. But this one is so cute that I couldn't pass it up. It's too cute. Look at these little ghosties. But the detail on these little ghosties, they are so cute. Usually they have the names of the flowers, like they make them spooky. But this year they don't have any of the labels yet. It just says creepy plant at the bottom. But I don't see the name of it. I think they're called, are these called bluebells? I feel like, I feel like somebody on the Facebook group called them Boo Bells. And also these flowers down here have little teeth in them. If you can see the teeth in there. This is so cute. I couldn't resist. How much was this? $20. Which, let me put it out there. Because some of you might be like, oh my gosh, $20. But the quality on these in comparison to some of the other Ghoulish Garden stuff I've seen out there. Like not to, you know, I don't want to talk bad about anybody around here. We love all Halloween stores. But... Uh, I had something to say about the at-home ghoulish garden this year, how it looked a little bit DIY. Nothing wrong with DIY, nothing wrong at all, but it was, I think they were like $10, $15 for those. I think they were $10. So half the price of these, where these were $20 for way better quality, heavier duty. They're also larger. Uh, so I don't know. I think it's worth the money in comparison, or maybe none of them are worth the money. I'm not sure yet, but wanted to put that out there. Next up, I got this jack-o'-lantern tombstone. Jack-o'-lantern on top of a tombstone. Or it's just a whole tombstone. I don't know, but he's got vines all over him. He looks really spooky. And then he lights up. It is so good. I'm so excited about this. I think sometimes I pass over stuff like this because in my mind, I'm thinking about my themes. Like, oh, I'm doing this theme or this theme. And then I forget about my jack-o'-lantern stuff, my classic Halloween stuff or stuff that I'm putting outside, which I normally do classic Halloween outside. And so I kind of wanted to do a little... A graveyard kind of right by my door so when kids walk by when they're trick-or-treating they see a little graveyard there but um, I didn't want it to be too scary because we do have a lot of little littles in this neighborhood like very small kids so this is really heavy by the way like really heavy duty even Dallas picked it up he's like whoa this is really heavy so if you're doing a little graveyard scene outside or whatnot you don't have to worry about this blowing away because it does have a good weight to it so it will hold up in wind and stuff like that but was so excited for this little jack-o'-lantern tombstone next up I got some jack-o'-lanterns I still have them in this bag got some jack-o'-lanterns I love their little jack-o'-lanterns every year I get these these are five bucks a pop and they're battery operated so you don't have to plug them in or do anything with them I got the classic little jack-o'-lantern and I got the scary guy so we got both types the classic the scary I love putting them on the tops of candle holders or candelabras or pedestals or whatever. Got all these jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. We're now juggling jack-o'-lanterns. And I also got this jack-o'-lantern stack. It's three jack-o'-lanterns stacked on top of each other. They're all smiling like they're having a good time. And it's battery operated as well. I love the Target jack-o'-lanterns because they're all battery operated now. I remember for years they were all plug in and it was horrible trying to find all the places to plug them in. Next up, I got this blow mold. I was so excited to find this. I want to tell you where I'm putting all of these things, but I also want you to be surprised when we're decorating. So I'm, I'm trying to hold back. I'm like, this is where I'm going to put it. This is what we're doing. But anyways, regardless, it's not that kind of video. This is just a haul, Jade. Get with it. Talk about the item and move on. I'm just kidding. Uh, I got this blow mold. It says trick or treat on it. It still has this, this thing on it that I can take off, but it says trick or treat on it. It has a cute little bat on top says trick-or-treat and it lights up 
Oh, I love this piece. I was so excited to find it. I didn't know if I'd be able to find it because it sold out super quickly online. So I was so excited to get this guy. He's so cute. Anyways, love this. Can't wait to show you what I'm doing with it. Next up, I got this. I'm gonna have to plug it in and show you what it looks like. It is this Grim Reaper, this neon Reaper guy. And let me see if I can't get a good visual of it. It almost looks like he's wearing sunglasses, even though I think they're supposed to just be eyeballs. But it almost looks like sunglasses, which is even funnier. But yeah, got this uh, purple and green neon, Grim Reaper neon. I'm all excited about it. All right. Oh, wait, I forgot. I also got this. <sighs> We have hair everywhere. Okay. I got this. I almost forgot about this. I got this house, this metal A-frame house. I love their metal houses every year. This one is so good. It's kind of got a gothic feel to it with the windows. Love these for Halloween, but I also, and I don't want to be saying this so early. So I'm going to say it anyways, just in case you're also like me and you like decorating for a dark decor towards the holiday season. These metal houses are amazing for a dark holiday decor as well. So I leave these up from the time I start decorating for Halloween um, until after the first of the year. So I love these for all different types of decor, all year round decor or any holiday type of decor. So just wanted to put it out there. I know some of you might come for me like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're already talking about the holidays. I mean, they are getting here. It is September, but also you can't always find stuff like this. Once the holiday decor comes out, you can't find the dark goods. So sometimes you gotta get it now. So I wanted to mention that. And these ones are going quick, by the way. I just got this the other day. And when I went back today, they were gone. So I uh, love this little house thing, little spooky house. Oh, and it lights up as well. Let, let, let me show you how it lights up. It's a little spooky something in there little subtle light that makes it even spookier because I feel like if it was too bright it wouldn't have the same effect. This was ten dollars by the way. Next up we got some spooky towels I'm all excited about. I got the cat one. It's an orange towel with an embroidered black cat on it and then the other towel is a black towel with orange scaredy cats on it. It's got a very vintage feel to this whole set with the scaredy cat kind of vibes. Honestly, with these towels, I really just love this towel on the back, the printed one. I think they nailed it with these printed towels in the back, although I do like the embroidered towels as well in the front, but I love the ones on the back. Then I got the bat one. You know I had to get the bat one. It's kind of like an off-white color with these embroidered black bats on it. And then once again, the pattern towel, the bats all over it. I love this towel for all year round. Doesn't say anything on it, nothing cheesy. Doesn't say trick or treat yourself or here for the booze or hey boo. It's literally just, just freaking bats. Speaking of puns, this one says, which please on it. it says which please, but then the pattern towel Look at this spider web towel. I love this towel. So I'll put up with the witch please towel so I can have the spider web towel. And the witch please one I might give to my mom or something, but I love a good spider web towel. So I just really liked how they did the pattern towels this year. And these are so soft too, by the way. But last but not least, I got a couple things from the dollar spot. Uh -huh. Bullseye Playground, you know what it is. I call it the dollar spot still, constantly. It's the Bullseye Playground. And if you're not familiar with the Bullseye Playground, it's the dollar section, basically, of Target. Um, or it's around $5 and under, or maybe $10 and under, but it's kind of their dollar section. First thing I got, I am so excited about this. This metal tray has these snake handles on it. This was $5 for this metal tray with the snake handles. I feel like it's a pretty good deal. I was really excited to see this in the dollar spot. I get a whole lot in the dollars. Mm, Bullseye Playground this year. But I did see these and I got all excited about them. They had these Halloween spatulas and I got so excited about these. These were a dollar. A black bat spatula and this cute little ghosty spatula. I am so excited. So these are so perfect for the spooky kitchen. I'm all excited about them. Such a good deal. Such a, you know what I'm gonna say. It's such a steal of a deal. <laughs> 
anyways, I think that's it for this haul. You know, if I go back and get some things, you know, I'll do another haul or I'll probably just include it in the collective haul we have coming up. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to ya. Also, don't forget everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box for you. Uh, and yeah, if you wanna let me know down in the comments your favorite piece in this haul, uh, anything that stood out to you or anything that you got from Target or if you have anything on your wish list. Like, anyways, let's chit chat about all the things down in the comments. Hope you're having an amazing Halloween season. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.